hey guys so today we are going to be talking all about bombs 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 and this video is a respect to our complete kit set i've not gotten a name to call it yet but i just call it the complete kit set why that set why is it important why all that much products in one this is because getting rid of bombs is it's more of a strategy than what one product can do. So if you suffer, this video is basically for people that suffer extreme bombs. You've suffered extreme bombs and the bombs has led to scarring as well as making the armpits and the bikini line dark and just not just good. It's not making you confident. You can't wear your bikini. You just wish something can be done about it. And also people that have used everything said oh i've used this it works for some time and it stopped working oh i've used that and that it never nothing seems to work this is for you getting rid of bombs right is more of a strategy than what one product can do this is because the processes that leads to the formation of bombs is a very complicated one because it's like three main reasons why bombs occur so you treating the bombs itself is not sufficient enough because because you are not focusing on the root of the problem in the first place i'm being the daughter of a pharmacist and just grew under my dad and seen him treat lots of patients my dad always says something when people come to complain and they're like oh this is wrong with me blah 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 See, the body is designed in such a way, whatever it's telling you is that something is wrong somewhere. So is bombs. You just treating what it's telling you is you treating the symptoms of a problem. So a good strategy, and my daddy will always say then, is getting the root cause of the problem, focusing on it, as well as getting rid of the symptoms is a, is a good strategy to handle a problem. Now, there are three main root causes of bombs, like I personally group them or class them to, like I personally group them to be, I'll say there are three main causes of bombs. Number one is the texture of your hair. The degree of whether your hair is coarse, whether it's medium or whether it's soft is one. People with very coarse hair, like very strong hair texture, they are the ones that get susceptible to bombs quite frequently. If you find yourself always treating bombs and battling with them, chances are that you have a very coarse hair texture. People with very coarse hair texture and in the armpit and bikini line is quite coily. It gets tucked underneath the skin quite frequently compared to someone with soft hair texture or just medium hair texture. So as a result, you are quite different and that's why you battle bombs. The second cause of bombs is your method of hair removal. The cause of bombs is your method of hair removal, like your hair removal method. So if you have hard and coarse hair, I like to group hair removal methods into, the, into surface hair removal methods and deep hair removal methods. The surface hair removal method includes shaving, using of hair removal creams or just anything that and promises to dissolve hair like you just apply it and it dissolves the hair on the surface they are not good for people with hard texture or coarse hair texture this is because they are just doing surface work right they get rid of the hard coarse hair from the surface while the other half of this hard coarse hair is stuck below your skin and what happens is the one that tries to grow back and gets stuck underneath the skin again and the cycle continues the best strategy for people with coarse hair that suffer bombs is to use deep hair removal methods such as waxing again there are different types of hard waxing we have the hard wax and the sugar wax the hard wax breaks a lot of this hair in the follicle which gives you a surface result right so when they are going back they get stuck underneath the skin and this happens because it's it attaches itself to skin cells, live skin cells, as well as the hair. So when they are removing the wax, it's extremely painful and it breaks this hair in the hair follicle. But sugar wax, on the other hand, is applied opposite to hair coat. It doesn't attach itself to live skin cells and it removes this hair within the depth. It removes this hair more efficiently than hard wax from deeper depths, from the roots without attaching itself to live skin cells and it's, as a result it's less painful than, than hard wax this makes sugar wax 100 percent 
more preferable for people that suffer bumps that with hard coarse hair texture than hard wax itself because so before the hair circle grows again to nurse new hair from the roots they grow back very weak compared to being very coarse and and always stick to sugar waxing always stick to sugar waxing because with more sections the more you continue to use the sugar wax the weaker the hair continues to grow and as a result you transition from very coarse hair to very soft fine hair and this will mean eradicating the cost in the next nearest future so the hair grows back a lot softer lots a lot softer and softer hair means you have handled one part of the cause of the bombs and it will never repeat itself again but if you break your consistency by using maybe surface hair removal method or shaving you can leave that half hair stuck there and they get stronger back because that's your hair texture so just stick to sugar waxing stick to it be very consistent and you would see results the second cause of bumps is excess dead skin cells on the surface of the skin whether the armpit and the bikini area so those um excess dead skin cells right they have they have very strong bonds and when they are the one that encourages this coarse hair to get stuck underneath the skin because they are blocking the pores where this hair is supposed to grow from so when it's growing it meets those obstructions and it starts to coil back or grow back into itself in short there's even an a bombs kind of bumps where the hair has grown out it comes in contact with dead skin cells because of tight underwears or whatever way and it starts growing back into the skin again that there are different types and different scenarios they could come in so a good strategy you've attacked the texture of the hair by using waxing and the hair removal method by using sugar waxing now you need to get rid of excess dead skin cells to get rid of excess dead skin cells more effectively you have to combine physical and chemical exfoliation physical exfoliation includes the use of body scrubs sugar scrubs or whatever kind of scrub okay to scrub the skin and to get rid of them but there are some of the bonds that are very strong than what physical scrubbing can take care of then you need something called chemical exfoliation this is the use of gentle acids that are natural based which include alpha hydroxyl acids they are gotten from fruits why, why? <laughs> this will help to dissolve those dead skin cells the stronger bonds so this way you are doing very effective strategy where you are combining physical and chemical exfoliation. That is how to get rid of those excess dead skin cells on the surface of the skin. And chemical exfoliation with this alpha hydroxyl acids will help to shed a, all of that bump scarring, all that old skin you see on the bikini area and the armpit area. It helps to shed them off so that a new the, a new skin is formed on that. And this new skin is bump free, darkness free. It's just fresh, baby smooth skin. That is what alpha hydroxyl acids do for you. So these are the three method, the three main causes or the three main ingredients that leads to bumps, which is your hair texture, hair removal type, and excess dead skin cells. So now, um, well, the way the kit is situated to help you with this, the kit contains the sugar waxing sets, which you can help you wax yourself at home conveniently. Okay, it will help you wax yourself conveniently at home. It contains the sugar wax and everything. We have in-depth videos to walk you through how to wax yourself at home. It's pretty simple. Our videos are in-depth. We go over the do's and don'ts. There's nobody I send that video to. They're like, it's a lifesaver. It always works. And we are always, always ready to do a 24-hour um, WhatsApp video call with you to walk you through the process, even if you find it difficult to go along with that video, which you should. Also note that, yes, because you have very coarse hair in the bikini line and in the armpit, right, you, it's going to be a little bit painful or very painful depending on your 
tolerance to pain and that's because your hair is very coarse but i promise you from the second time you'll be using the wax again it's not going to be as much and so will it be progressing till you don't feel anything anymore which when doing it just bear in mind it's what it it's something you have to do because of the kind of hair texture you have you just have to show that everything and do it because the results are going to be worth it in the long run people are doing these things you just it's just it's not it's just a one-time pain and it's just gone and it's not very excruciating it's not really bad the way you perceive it to be nothing you can't bear so it's in this kit to use the sugar wax after you have used the sugar wax to get rid of all the hair in the armpit and the bikini line you let the skin rest for like 24 hours before you start to administer the remaining products in this kit set and the first product you start with is the the first product you start with is the set the bikini and armpit polishing kit it contains a mask and it contains a a scrub it contains a mask and it contains a scrub this is the watermelon mask and this is the scrub if you have been attentive this is your physical exfoliants and when you want to exfoliate the bikini line you should stay away from any house scrub like sugar scrubs this is because sugar breeds yeast and you could get yeast infection using sugar in that area this has exfoliants that are from walnut shells not sugar walnut shells that way you can scrub without the fear of of an infection or anything it also contains really good clays that encourages the skin to turn over shed those excess old skin that has all the bombs all the scarring and all of that and encourages the skin to produce new skin cells it also is formulated with very good actives to help with those darkness around that area whether the ampit of the bikini line so basically you take this set they are to be used weekly three times a week only they're extremely powerful you cannot use them every day you have to use them three times a week only and at night time before bed so before entering the shower you wet maybe you get a spray bottle with water wet the armpits and wet the bikini line take your scrub your clay scrub right and you are going to apply it scrub the area for 30 minutes allow the, the the scrub to sit in before you get into the shower and wash everything off when you are done from the shower and you've dried your body you will go in with the with the bikini and armpit polishing mask this is your chemical exfoliant it combines both glycolic acid and lactic acid which are very powerful alpha hydroxyl acids that help to dissolve those excess dead skin cells i told you guys about those excess dead skin cells that cause skins to be the hair to be trapped underneath the skin it gets rid of it it also contains alpha butane that helps with the dark areas of the armpit and the bikini line at the same time so this is before you go into the shower then you wash it off out of the shower you apply this on the area just a little bit goes a long way is a gel it's a jelly consistency after you've applied it and it has dried and absorbed into your skin you can wear your sleeping wear and go to bed as normal then in the morning you wash it off on days that you are not using the polishing kit these are the two you're going to be using this every single day Apart from the days you are not using the polishing kit. This is our Bombs Oil Concentrate. This is our Bombs Oil Concentrate. Always shake it to activate it before you use. You will see the concentrate in suspended in the oil. This helps with bombs. It penetrates way deep into your skin. It softens any new hair growth already forming below. It also helps to with existing bombs. It helps with existing bombs. It vacuums them out because it contains BHA acids. These are another gentle acids that help to evacuate the pores, to clean it out. Okay, 
and it also prevents bumps from occurring so even after you are done with your treatment set even if you wax okay because if you deal with extreme bumps as you are waxing you may experience one or two little bumps here and there and the cause of it is the areas you skipped during waxing because you are not perfect this always administer this after any hair removal because it will help to prevent those bumps from occurring help with existing bumps you want to always have this in your stash you can decide to apply this in the mornings or apply it in the night it's just left for you this bottle will help with the dark area those dark scarring those um the dark ampy the dark bikini line this is extremely powerful and it's pricey it combines three extremely powerful actives that are targeted at reducing excess melanin production which is the cause of pigmentation and scarring when bumps have occurred it helps with that a lot so you could be using this in the mornings and using this in the evenings depending on how you want to do it okay so this is used every single day morning or night or night or morning anyhow you choose to do it so thank you bye